heading out towards shallow right and that'll get down for a base hit. Well they've had a game plan they've been really aggressive right here he jumps on the first pitch they're not laying Left off fielder. and it's paying off for Billy. them. They came here with a the mindset that they're going to be aggressive and we're seeing them execute. First pitch on its way a pitch out the throw and a good decision to pitch out that time as he is toast at second base. Bases are empty one man out. Swing and a miss for strike one. That's a good changeup. Got him to swing early in it. Now you got him set up. You can go back with the hard fastball or double it up with another changeup. This is on the ground over to first. Gloved by Cabrera, and he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. The batter, number Here's 15, the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. He homered back Kyle in the third inning in this Seager. one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Williams racing back. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. Around second now and headed for third. And he'll make it to third base. Almost a home run there, but he's got himself a triple instead. Here's Gerard Dyson. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And he'll beat the throw as he's got himself a bunt single. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's now 7-1. to one. Ken Griffey Jr. Digging in once again, Ken Griffey Jr. trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Now the 0-1. He'll try it again from first. Swing and a line drive. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Pitch inside the throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. So one run. Digging in and looking for more. Kevin Pilar. For the Blue He'll try and do what he can Our to work builder, toward cutting 11. into this big deficit. On to the eighth off. now as the first pitch is a fastball that's looked at for ball one. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back to back fastballs and that one was able to find the zone. I like what I'm seeing right now. In in and then goes away. If you pound him in early it opens up the outside half of the plate and that's what he's doing right now. Freeman is over and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Here's Manny Machado now. Three at bats for him in this one all ending with him going down on strikes. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. One run, five hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will wind up foul, still 0-2. And, and he struck him out again. So that's the old sombrero there, partner. Four strikeouts in the ballgame. Here's J.D. Martinez. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. He's such a good hitter. You don't see him miss pitches that are right there in a good hitter's location very often. And that's in there as well. 0-2 now. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. 
chop foul over towards the dugout. I like the call for the two strike changeup. You got to make a better pitch. He got away with one right there. And this is fouled back and out of play. Bases are empty here with two men out. Oh, and they pull the string on a good changeup there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. Ready once again, Ken Griffey Jr. Leading They'll see what he American. can do leading off the home aim. Center fielder, Ken Griffey Jr. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Matt Your Dermody comes in unexpectedly from the, the pen game. in relief of his Number injured 50, teammate. Matt Dermody. Outside for a ball, one and one. Junior awaits the 1-1. One, one. And this is going to be a foul ball. Lined back over second. And they'll start this inning off with a base hit as that one's through. So the base hit puts the first man aboard to start the inning for the Mariners. Cutting it close here, but he comes five. through in the eighth to Ready. extend his hitting streak. Yeah, come on, man. Eighth inning. He was getting me nervous. This looked like this might be his last at bat and his last opportunity. Now at the plate, Freddie Freeman. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch on its way. I had him lunging there as he's just able to tap it foul at home plate. Now the 0 1. He's running again. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Looking up is Pilar. Gone! A two run blast off the bat of Freddie Freeman. His second home run of the game as they've widened this lead to eight now. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. Catcher, Here now is three. Mike Zanino. Mike as he'll go Zanino. after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for out number one. The batter number two. Shortstop. Here's Corey Seager. Corey he made Seager. it to third on a triple in his previous appearance. First delivery to him on the way. This is line to left. And a dive in left, but he can't get it. It'll get by him toward the wall. Around second. He's on his way to third. Throw won't get him. Wow, he's getting his daily conditioning in during the game that's his second zero. triple so obviously Joel he's seeing the ball Kuhn. great and he's showing he knows how to motor around the bases just fine into the box now Joel Koo as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. A cash in here as the run is in to score from third. When you got that run on third base, you want to get greedy right there. He just pokes one the opposite way to pick up that run on third base. Trey Turner. Standing in now. Trey Turner, runner goes for second. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Pilar is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Now this is cut and thrown to first. On to first, a double play. 
but they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. One last shot for the Jays coming up, and this is now a 10-1 ball game. Back now in the beautiful Pacific Northwest as we're set for what's left of this one from Safeco Field. Now at the plate, Ted Williams starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Here's the 0 and 2. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. One out, nobody on. On, could we see another strikeout here? It's 0 and 2 now. The lineup top to bottom looks like they have no approach or game plan whatsoever. It's like they're deciding to swing before the pitch is even coming out of the pitcher's hand. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. The Striding in, Captain Johnny Bench. Johnny He's got a Bench. hit in three at-bats to this point. And that misses for ball one. And this will be fouled away. And there's a swing and a miss for strike two. So the Blue Jays are down to their final strike now. Boy, he's getting a lot of late swings. They're just not catching up to him right now. Not picking it up. Not seeing it. Going on to first to be in time to get him. And the Mariners will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Wow, that's eight wins in a row, and it seems like they can't do anything wrong. When you're riding a streak like this, you eat the same food, you drive the ballpark the same way, you do everything the same because you don't want to do anything to jeopardize this streak. Ten to one, the final lopsided score in this ball game. The Seattle Mariners slug their way to victory with 15 hits. James Paxton gets to double digits with his 10th win of the year as he struck out 13 in this one. Marcus Stroman permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. Sun Juan O oh takes the rare three inning save his third of the campaign. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, our Dan Pleszak, and our crew. I'm Matt Baskersian. You've been watching Seattle MLB Bears. The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Four men left on base. For the Blue Jays, one run, five hits, no errors. They left five men on base. The winning pitcher is James Paxton. His record is now 10 and 1. The loss goes to Marcus Stroman. He falls to 8 and 3. Time of the ball game, 3 hours and 31 minutes. A reminder that extra post-game trains will be available at the King Street Station, located just north of Safeco Field. Metro Transit buses are also available at stations on First Avenue, Royal Brom Way, and Edgar Martinez Drive.